In this video, I'll introduce FrameNet. I'll cover frames in general, as well as some specific frame elements. Being able to identify commonalities among events like we've seen so far is useful for natural language understanding, but what would be even more useful would be to be able to make more general inferences that abstract across different but similar verbs, or even across other syntactic structures that convey similar meaning, such as is shown in the example on the right here. We talked about frames just a little bit previously. In FrameNet, frames are background knowledge structures that define frame-specific semantic roles, which are referred to as frame elements, as well as sets of predicates that use those roles. We can see an example frame here for attention. The frame is first defined in terms of its frame elements, and then those frame elements are further defined individually. The elements are divided into core and non-core roles. Core roles are frame-specific, whereas non-core roles express more general properties. As shown in the previous slide, frames can be related to one another in a variety of ways. For example, one may inherit from another, cause another, or be used by another. The slide here visualizes the relationships listed for attention, with directed arrows indicating parent-child relationships. The FrameNet website offers a variety of ways to access and analyze the data, or you can download the full FrameNet dataset yourself for your own projects.